here we are with another random video and in this video I will be talking about the fight between Meghan Markle and Camilla you see Camilla and Prince Charles have been in the outs for some time now they put up a good front in public but that's far as it goes it was told that Camilla was in the process of revealing that she wanted to divorce Prince Charles but that got completely derailed by Meghan who was overheard arguing with a drunk Camilla you see this is how it all went down Okay, it all went down days before Prince Harry and Meghan revealed their baby news. It was told that the couple wanted to reveal it to Prince Charles and William, of course Kate, during a private dinner at Prince Harry and Meghan's home. But racist, evil, alcoholic, and bigot Camilla had down a couple of glasses of gin and tonic and begun taunting Meghan yet again. Oh yes, it was told that she made the comment that Meghan was too old to have a child and that she should wonder what color the baby would be. Of course, Kate, who was rumored to be close friends with Megan, was horrified of what Camilla had just said, and she was told to have called Kate a disgrace. Then Megan chimed in and went in on drunken Camilla by exposing how Camilla has been trying to destroy their romance since day one. Then she said that it was time that the truth should be revealed about her cheating on Prince Charles. She didn't mean to yell it out, but she had it with the racist remarks that Camilla had constantly made. I mean, you seen her at the wedding, whereas it was told that she was overheard making another racist remark to Kate, who played it off with a smile and a look. The truth be told, Kate and Camilla are not friends, and she only tolerate Camilla for the sake of her husband, Prince William. Now, getting back to the story. After Megan yelling that out, the room went silent. Of course, Megan regretted yelling that out. I mean, who wouldn't? But Charles turned around with tears in his eyes and asked Megan to continue. So she did, and she revealed that now, please note this, that Megan found this stuff out from the staff. Oh yes, they all love her. Anyway, it was told that Camilla has been seen kissing and holding hands with another man at the castle of May in the north of Scotland. Oh, I'm not done yet. It seems that someone took a picture of them, and it was then shown to Megan when Prince Harry and she spent five days at the castle with Charles and his wife, Camilla. Oh, I'm still not done yet. It was told that while Charles stayed indoors reading his beloved books that he loved so much, Camilla always took hikes along the coastline and met up with her lover in a remote corner of the estate. Oh yes, he was described as tall, about six feet one, with rugged good looks. He also wore tweeds and a gamekeeper hat. Oh, I'm still not done yet. It was told from the staffer that they were so engrossed with one another and didn't even see the picture being taken. Now, no one knows who the man is, but it seems that he was a visitor from the Queen's Balmoral State, about 200 miles south of where Charles and Camilla spent summers. Oh, and guess what? Camilla has been seeing this man for five years or more, and as often as she can. She even missed Princess Eugene's wedding because she was a moral, visiting school children, of course, but also to see her lover. You see, this lover came along when her marriage had hit rock bottom after finding out that she would not become queen like she was ever going to become queen, just saying. And so she needed a shoulder to cry on and a man that was good in bed. So that means that her plan to divorce Prince Charles and receive a quarter million dollar divorce decree has since been derailed because it was at that moment where as Prince Charles yelled at her that it was over and once a cheater, always a cheater and for her to get out now. But this new revelation brings up some new revelations, so let's go back and deep. Now, after discovering this bit of information, I realized and started to think of Princess Diana's death. I mean, think about it. Who would benefit more from Diana's death? I mean, Charles was already divorced and he was also seeing Camilla. He didn't need to marry Camilla. I mean, what for? Or he didn't even need to kill Princess Diana. He had his once mistress open now, and he was still going to be king. Perfect. Okay, yes, Princess Diana was being seen around town with another man. Who cares? Charles was being seen with whole Camilla. Now, this is only a theory, but think about it. Who would benefit more? Camilla would. Diana was gone and dead, and Charles was free to marry her. And she would finally be free to become the queen that she and her family history were so desperately wanting. But what she did count on is the label that she would always have, you know. Not to mention it was told that Queen Elizabeth also hates her and only tolerates her. She knows that Camilla only cares about her title and money. Now let's move to the present. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, what can we deduce from this information? We all know about the recent incidents that occurred with Prince Harry and Meghan, like her plane having to make an emergency stop because of reasons untold. There were also reports that lightning almost struck the plane as well because some device to attract lightning bolts to blow up the plane were put inside, but the pilot and the built-in navigation helped them around it. So do you see that someone or something is trying to kill Megan and Prince Harry, but their main target is Megan. You see, Megan and Harry are getting a lot of praises and attention, and it mirrors the attention that Prince Charles and Diana had once received. This time, their union isn't based on lies. Also note that Camilla has never received this kind of attention. Let's just put that out there. You see, they actually care for one another, and that is what heightens it. But it's not just that, it's how the Queen favors them as well, especially Megan and of course um, Prince Harry. She has done things with Megan that she has never done with Kate and especially not Camilla. So ask yourselves, who would be jealous of this attention more? Yes, Camilla, who I also have been married before and no one praised her that way, you know, not the way they're doing with Megan. This kind of jealousy and envy and not to mention of what Megan had done to her marriage that she had to kill to get. This kind of anger is very dangerous, so I pray that it wouldn't happen. I mean, this rebellious streak and her plotting to kill Megan, I pray that the history doesn't repeat itself and Camilla don't do what she did with Diana to Megan. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. Do you think Camilla was really behind Diana's death and is she trying to kill Megan as well?